Hey guys, Rusty, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Cool, hey. Hey guys, Rusty over here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get Bruce the mount, the absolute best mount in the game. I mean, look at him. Dude, it's Bruce. He's a legend. So let's get started. This is a very easy quest line to do. Also, I'm going to be doing this on the Horde side, although I'm assuming on the Alliance side, guys, it's going to be very similar. So first things first, walk into the Brawler's Guild, and you're going to have a quest basically right in front of your face. Your boy, Paul North, he's been, he's gone. He's been slain. He's been murdered. It's your job as the Horde's best private investigator to figure out what the hell happened. So go ahead, start clicking on all the objects around him investigate the crime scene turn around and you're gonna click uh the goblin lady and she's gonna have some dialogue for you after that head to the torn in the back with the cool shoulder pads and turn in that quest there he's gonna give you a quest to win any three brawls now i'm an idiot and forgot to record the three brawls but guys you could do any three brawls i literally just did bruce three times in a row go ahead win three brawls and you're gonna go ahead back to the torn dude now he's gonna ask you or basically start telling you about the gambling goblin Walk straight, you have the Zondalari Troller, I honestly have no idea, she, she's just a middle lady, I guess. But she's there, go ahead, hand in that quest, she's gonna ask you to win 100 gold by gambling. Now, in order to activate gambling, you need to buy the item that activates gambling. So go ahead and talk to that Blood Elf lady there. Now, at first I thought it was a bag of chip dice, it's it's not that. It's the one to the left of the bag of chip dice, the chip dice is the random brawl mode. Go ahead and buy the High Rollers, whatever that last word is, I can't really say from here. Go ahead, buy that, and talk to the Goblin lady by, behind him, and that'll activate the gambling. Now, from this, you just need to win 100 gold by gambling. Now, you could do this the legit way, which, by gambling, either choose the monster or the hero to win. Or you could do what pretty much I did, is just get a guildie or a friend in there. So, just go in there and just start throwing fights. And basically, you just pick the monster every time, and you'll eventually just win 100 gold. So, again, you're just going to want to keep gambling until you win 100 gold total. Go ahead, talk to him, and he's going to give you a quest. To basically, you need to lose a fight. Now, this was the most difficult part in the quest line for me, because I only win. I don't lose. But, eventually, I managed to do it. Once you lose a fight... Go ahead, talk back to him, and he's going to ask you to fight a special boss, which you need to buy a challenge card for. So go ahead, you're going to go, I forgot the name of the dude, it's like something, it's some weird name that starts with an S. Go and talk to the panda lady, you're going to want to buy the challenge, Lord Silas something. Buy the challenge card for him, talk to a guard, tell me you want to use your challenge card. And eventually you're going to be teleported into the brawl er, arena. Now, this fight is really fucking simple. You just have to interrupt one cast, which you're going to see in a second. It's not the Arcane Bolt. Don't interrupt that. You're going to want that to go through. After the Shield Bangle cast, which can be stunned, he's going to do this magic dice. Interrupt that. You need to interrupt that. Now, at the very end here, I was curious what it did. So, what's going to happen there if he d you don't interrupt that is that the boss, you could see here in a second, he's basically become... He's going to get a shit ton of buffs that just do some... Di Honestly, though, he got it off. I probably could have survived it. Uh, but I am over gear fist. Anyways, just interrupt the dice cast and you'll be perfectly fine. After that, you're going to get your overstuffed silk weave purse. Open that. That'll give you the quest item. You can go ahead, talk to the goblin, hand that in, and you're done with that quest. Now, once you're done, turn back around, talk to Miss Zondalari lady, and of course, she's going to send you right back to the torn, which again, I, I, I didn't read the quest, so I don't even know why she's there. It seems like she was kind of useless to me. Talk to the torn, hand in that quest, and he's basically going to start talking about Orc Boy here. After that, you're actually going to head before the Orc Boy, talk to the Stone Guard, hand in that quest, immediately turn around and just chilling against the wall there like the creep he is, talk to Orc Boy there. He's going to give you a quest, he wants 100 of basically soul shards. So go ahead, by getting these soul splinters, you just have to win fights in the Brawler Guild. It can be any fight, they give you the Brawler's Purses, again, I just did like Bruce 10 times. After you open the Brawler's Purses, those will give you soul splinters. Once you get 100 of them, go ahead, back to Mr. Orc Boy there, and hand that in. Once you hand in that quest, Orc Man is going to give you another quest to win three. Basically, you need Super Soul Splinters, which you get from the Rumble Brawls. You're going to go ahead, and you're going to talk to the Blood Elf Lady and buy any of the Rumble cards once you do. Make sure you are queued up, and that'll get you into the Rumbles. Once you win the Rumbles, you get the special pouches, which open up into the Super Soul Splinters. Win three Rumbles, basically, and you're done. Hand in that quest. After that, you're going to basically get another quest to go talk to Miss Stone Guard Lady again. Go ahead, head over to her. By the way, for the Rumbles, it actually, I found it easier for a lot of them if there are more people, which is obviously the purpose of them. Talk to the Stone Guard Lady. However, they can be soloed, okay? Now, once you're done talking to her, you're going to basically go ahead and buy the challenge card for GG Engineering. Now, this fight, it was always easy, let's be honest, guys. This, this fight was a joke. Go ahead, buy the challenge card for them, use it. So, what the goblin is going to do, by the way, the, uh, the gnome doesn't know much death ray, nothing you can do about it, just some damage. The goblin rocket barrage, he's going to target you, basically the area around you, and start putting these red circles. If they hit the bosses, it will do a shit ton of damage to them. So, 
Eventually, when the bosses get low, they're also going to stand the shield generators. Take a guess. They don't take damage. However, again, the rocket barrage will damage the shield generators. So basically, the whole gist of this fight, whenever he's casting goblin rocket barrage, don't, first of all, do not get hit and just stand on top of the bosses and the shield generators when they're in them. This boss melts in like a matter of seconds, dude. This boss is a complete joke. Go ahead, kill them. You're going to get the GG gearbox. Open that, and that's going to give you the quest side immediately. Excuse me. Once you're done with that, you're going to go ahead, head back to the stone garden. She's going to give you another quest. Basically, she's going to give you these special goggles that you need to wear during a fight. Now, I honestly love this quest. By the way, this works with any fight, including the rumbles, as you can see here. Once you're in the arena, just put your goggles on. And basically, look, you, you got Yogg-Saron 2. It's the Consumer of Souls. Look, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Oh, yes, I am. Kafafasus. We're calling the Kafafasus. You're going to go ahead, use the goggles, talk to Kafafasus. You can stand inside his mouth, does nothing. Hand that quest in, and basically, once you're done with that, she's going to send you back to the Torn. Talk to him. Now, this is where you need either Brawler's Guild or at least rank 6 or higher. The reason why you want rank 6 is that at rank 6, you unlock the teleporter to the left there, as you can see there by that goblin, that brings you up to the ship. However, if you're not rank 6, you could buy your way up there. You don't want to go ahead and not talk to the panda lady. Talk to the blood elf lady. And it's not in the first picture, as you can see here. I thought it was. On the second page, you're going to buy the Zeppelin voucher. Go ahead and buy that with a rental form. Buy that, and that's going to activate the teleporter for everyone, no matter your rank. So you're going to go ahead and talk to that goblin to the right of the teleporter with that item. And once you do, you'll be able to teleport up to the Zeppelin. And up there, you're going to have, what are those called? Hobgoblins? Talk to the hobgoblin. They're nug. What a, what a name, Nug. Nug Lumbo, I love that. Talk to Nug for some reason, then you're going to talk to the sexy blood elf lady. I'd bang her. I don't care, she's dead. Talk to her, she's going to give you another quest. Now, this quest is a nuisance. First things first, turn around, you're going to talk to Haxel Drinkmeister there. You're going to buy the 1,000 piece of money brew, or whatever the hell that's called. Basically, 1,000 gold. Get by that, and drink the shit out of it. If you don't have 1,000 gold, go run a wad raid. You'll get that instantly. Go ahead, drink that. Once you're done, go back to the same lady you bought the Zeppelin form from, and buy the free drinks voucher. Once you buy that, again, this is a thousand brawlers go, which you can easily farm up just by doing, like, Bruce the entire time. Buy that, you're going to go to the bar, talk to Bruno there, hand that in. That's the second part of the quest. Now we can do the most annoying part of the quest. Go back to the Zeppelin, talk to Hard Greyhide here, and buy a shit ton of those Amor Seed Buns. Now, what you need to do with these buns is you need to hit someone that's brawling. So all you, I recommend doing, just keep fucking whipping those buns at them. Just keep going like a fucking madman until eventually you hit someone that's brawling. That might take you a little bit. It is a nuisance to do. Just keep throwing at them until you get it. Once you do... Hand in that quest. She's going to give you another quest to go put a sign down. I know, guys. Look look at this. You ready? Look at this. The real skill. Amazing. Look at that. I, I know. It takes real skill to put those signs down. Anyways, push that sign down. The valley of... What is that? Strength. Put it down. Go back to her and talk to her. Once you're done talking to her, you're going to turn around. Talk to the hobgoblin again. He's going to send you back to Mr. Tornboy there. And this is where the trial starts. Now... As far as, I, but this, again, this is just a trial that is a bunch of RP. You're going to get these extra action buttons. Now, as far as I could tell, I just hit whatever the hell I want. And again, as far as I could tell, it seems that you can hit any extra action buttons you want. It does not matter. However, if I'm wrong, if you somehow manage to fail this by hitting the wrong extra action buttons, please leave a comment below. I'm curious to know. But again, as far as I could tell, you can hit whatever the fuck you want. I thought this was actually pretty cool, though. I, I, I love this. I thought Blizzard, hey... Good job on this. This was incredible. This is actually a ton of fun. It's just to do it. It's a court case in the Brawler's Guild. I mean, come on. That's awesome. But again, once you're done with that, go ahead and talk to Mr. Tornboy, and he's going to send you to Area 52 in Netherstorm, which is also in Outland. Once you get there, you have the boss lady, or the real boss lady. Apparently, the other one's an imposter. Go ahead, talk to her, and she, once you're done doing that, now, I, I offer her to give her two gold. I'm not sure if the other one does. It's not about a health zone or a heart zone. It seems annoying, though, so I offer to give her two gold. Go ahead, give her the two gold, click the other option, hand in that quest, and she's going to give you another quest here. So, quick point, when you hand in this quest, make sure you don't have a challenge card in your bags. I sat here like a complete moron for a solid 15 to 20 minutes trying to accept this quest and failing because I had a Bruce challenge card in my bags, okay? Make sure you don't have a challenge card in your bags, accept that quest, and she's going to give you a mysterious challenge card. Go back to the Brawler's Guild, talk to a guard, tell him you want to use your challenge card, and you're basically going to fight the final boss, Zan Salish. I think I actually pronounced that right. So once you start the fight, he's going to do some RP. This fight is also, once again, a joke. He's going to do one interruptible cast, which of course, guys, you're going to want to interrupt. It just does some damage, that consume essence cast. Go ahead and interrupt that. It does some damage if you don't interrupt. There's no reason not to. 
He is also going to do one other ability, which is the Rift Walk. And as soon as he lands, he's going to spawn these orbs, which he does avoid burst. He spawns the orbs, you get hit. Now, what you're actually going to want to do, which I failed, clearly because I got hit, is that once he does the Rift Walk, just stay away from him. Wait for him to spawn the orbs, and they'll give the chance the, the orbs the chance to spread out and for you not to get hit. And honestly, guys, that's pretty much the entire quest line. Once you get him, beat him, you're done. You get a mysterious satchel, which just has like a book in it. Go ahead, talk to the Torn. And there you go. You got yourself Bruce. Bruce, guys, it's Bruce. Ha like, look at him. Look at him. It's Bruce. Anyways, guys, this quest line, excuse me, is really easy to do. You're going to have no problem doing this. I hope this guy helped. Thank you very much for watching. I love you all. Treat Bruce with the utmost respect. Thank you very much, guys. I love you.